And if you're thinking about adopting a puppy or already have one, this week's My Pet segment is for you. Here's Alan Becky with the tricks to stop dogs from chewing. Alan Becky here with Service Dogs, Inc. And this morning we want to talk about your dog chewing. Now recently, uh, Denali spent time with one of our fosters. And in one day, she managed to chew a hearing aid and a cushion. So one of the things we wanted to do is to talk a little bit about how we could go ahead and use some of the techniques to help our foster that ends up helping Denali in the future. So, all dogs are programmed to chew. You're not going to get rid of the chewing. So what your job is, is, is to put the chewing into appropriate items. So, first you might want to just audition some items to see, what does my dog like to chew more than my shoes? Um, these are Kongs, and while it might not be that exciting when it's empty, dogs love it when you stuff their dinner in it. And then you've got a great chew that can take dinner from 30 seconds to 30 minutes. Also, we've got these are real bones over here, big knuckle bones. Bigger is better and safer for your dogs, and dogs love them, but they can be messy, so you might want to start with them in your crate. And these toys here are Nyla bones. They're great for really young puppies and dogs that really have a really high need to chew. You may need to use all these toys to satiate your dog's need to chew. Now remember, it's really important to rotate your toys. Everybody thinks I'm giving them a toy and they're not going to chew. Well, that doesn't always happen. So one of the things we'd like to do is maybe take three bones. All right, we're going to have one bone that they're going to start out in the yard and they're going to get all the crusty stuff that's been on this. Once they chew this, it can then go into the house. Now what I'm going to do is introduce another one in the yard. So now I've got two bones out there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a third bone and I'm going to create a rotation so all the bones seem to be different when the dog gets it. Now if the dog seems to be a little disinterested in it, you can also do something to spruce them up. You could actually take this and put it in a boiling pot of either chicken broth or beef broth and it'll actually give a different flavor. And by doing that, it gives it something different and less boring for your dog. So for more, don't forget to find us on KXAN.com.